Hi everyone, welcome to story time. I hope you're all keeping well. Now, do you remember we had a story from Julia Donaldson called Paper Dolls? Do you remember this one? Well, I've got another story by Julia Donaldson today. Now, this one is called Room on the Broom. Now, let me read the blurb to you. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and th flew through the wind. Oh, so we've got about a witch with a cat and a very tall hat. Here we are. There we are, the witch with her cat and a very tall hat. Room on the broom. Like I said, it's another one by Julia Donaldson. Quite a witchy one, isn't it? Okay. I think it's going to be a rhyming one again, do you? Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat. And long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the cat grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Down! cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog, with the hat in its jaws. He dropped it politely and then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch and the dog clambered on and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the blow, the bow from her long ginger plait. Can you spot the bow? Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they searched for the bow but no bow could be found then out from the tree with an ear-splitting shriek there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak she dropped it politely and bent her head low then said as the witch tied the plait in a bow I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. And so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped a broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Ooh, look at the storm now. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond and the wind, the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. See in he dropped it politely and then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. And the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... <laughs> Uh-oh, the broom snapped in two. Oh, it snapped. 
Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh! I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch for my tea. <gasps> no, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer licking his lips. Said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. Oh, but just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Let's have a little look at this monster that's risen up from all of that mud there. Can you recognise any of the characters pretending to be a muddy monster? I think they're helping, aren't they? They're helping the witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog and down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be a dragon's inside. Mm -hmm. Have a look at that monster that was in the mud. It was really all her friends, wasn't it? <laughs> and she said, thank you so much. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone throw something in. So the frog, frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. And the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, that must have been an amazing magic spell to create this broom. Yeah, and they just used just a little bit of something from everybody to make it just right for them all. What an easy story, wasn't it? a very popular one room on the broom and you could probably tell I like this story and I've read it a few times so it's getting a little bit worn now but it's still a super story I hope you enjoyed it okay bye